I'm Raynor and I'm an international student from Mumbai, India and today I'll be sharing something really special with you all. We're talking about my transfer journey, my stats, the extracurriculars that shaped my application and the big reveal of where I'm headed this fall of 2024. So transferring schools was a really big decision for me and it was about completing my two years at the Ansa College and then transferring to a four-year university to pursue my bachelor's. While doing this, I also like spend my time researching and learning about universities here in the US that I was really interested in applying as a freshman. It wasn't an easy choice, but I'm glad I made that decision and I want to share it with you all. Before we get into my stats, let's talk a little bit about my time at the Ansa. Initially, I was like a bio major, but then later on decided to double major in psychology and I graduated with an AST in biology and AAT in psychology and an advanced certificate of achievement in Spanish. I also um, received institutional honors, I don't know how to pronounce it, magna cum laude, I mean it's some Latin thingy, it's some Latin thingy. Um, I'll attach a screenshot over here for you guys to see. And yeah, because I am a biology major, or, or that is what I applied as, um, I'll be mostly focusing on that than psychology. Um, so here's a breakdown, an honest breakdown. Um, my overall GPA was around a 3.55, and my major GPA was a little low, but it's fine. It was a 3.0 to a 3.12. And again, screenshots for the same. Um, yes, I tried to... I did my best and I also got a lot of A's but then for my major classes I had a mix of B's and C's. That's alright. I did my best. Remember, these numbers matter but they're just like one part of the whole story. So don't stress it. Additional information about my application. Um, I took zero standardized, standardized tests like the SATs and ACTs. I did not give them. Um, and I never had to provide the colleges with my English proficiency test because I already completed um, critical reading and writing English classes, like the college level classes at the Anza, so they waived it off. I also earned uh, an ESL certification of completion after finishing advanced college level English coursework and received a certificate of leadership for organizing a dance performance at the Diwali celebration at the Anza College. You guys must have seen my blog on that. Um, plus, I completed Howard Medical School's HMX Fundamentals program, um, which covered essential topics in healthcare, earning certificates in genetics, immunology, pharmacology, biochemistry, and physiology. And guys, what's it? I had requested my certificates to be delivered here at this college. I won't show you guys the name because obviously, kind of heavy oh, it's kind of heavy because I got like five certificates for all the programs so now let's talk about my extracurricular activities I had when I applied to these universities I made sure to get involved in activities that align with my passions and career goals obviously um, and yes each one had a unique impact on my journey first up um, I volunteered at the Stanford Blood Center in the San Francisco Bay Area, specifically at the Campbell and Mountain View clinics or sites, whatever you guys want to call it, um, where I spent around three to four hours per week for over 10 months. My job over there was to monitor donors after they're donating, after they're done donating blood and serve them like cookies and refreshments and stuff and also make sure they were comfortable and like look out for any sort of reactions if it happened yeah it was a humbling experience to contribute to such an important cause thank you please donate more blood guys and yeah i also had like some amazing interactions with people over there and in fact i have met a few people who also graduated from Tianza. so it was a really good place to like serve the community and also meet people from the same college you can say um, I also worked as a laboratory assistant at the course center for environmental studies at Dianza um, where I 
dedicated around 19 hours per week um, and I worked in the ESA known as the environmental study area whether it was planting, weeding or working in a butterfly garden to support the monarch butterflies it was incredibly rewarding to be part of something that directly impacts the environment mm. another meaningful experience was volunteering at the I hope I'm pronouncing this right Calpoli Tonale K Mexican New Year event this is an event which happens every year in the San Jose like East San Jose area and it's amazing you guys should go visit I mean go go see the dances and the thingy which happens over there they have amazing stalls so I spent around four hours for two days um, and I helped vendors set up their tents um, I also assisted in the kitchen to serve food to dancers and participants um, and even took part in the cleanup after the event was completed it is a great way to connect uh, with the commu community and learn more about cultural traditions it is very different I also held office for positions in two clubs at the Anza um, the pop club that is the power of physics and the MVA that is the music and volunteering association club and then as a secretary I was responsible for maintaining records looking at the timings of the meetings um, organizing events like not directly because the president was the one who organized events um, I guess that's it we just had like weekly meetings or like an hour times meeting like every two weeks on a weekday so it wasn't that that heavy the workload in addition to these I also volunteered at St. Martin's Catholic Church in Sunnyvale California and I used to sing in both English and Spanish choir groups during the Saturday and or, or Sunday masses so that on Saturdays I used to go for the Spanish masses and on Sundays English but at some point I stopped going to the English masses because yeah I had the privilege of being accepted and attending um, the cafe program at Stanford University and this is like a week-long summer internship kind of thing um, where we learned a lot about clinical anatomy um, we studied about the human body through cadaveric labs and lectures and we also gained insights into various health allied health professions we had um, doctors and professors who came in as guest speakers and like shared their experiences and we also were able to connect with them also we had the opportunity to visit the stanford hospitals and um, i forgot what the name of the children's hospital is but also there and learn about the equipment used for surgeries so there was this specific thingy you guys must have seen it somewhere online um there are these doctors who sit on like such big machines they have like something like that and then they use their fingers to perform surgeries and the doctor sitting on this side of the room and the patient is on the other side and those machines are so expensive I think it's around 1 million for one of those machines so we were able to see how it works it was amazing uh, while my time at Zambia um, I did not have enough stuff to do besides the two courses that, that I was currently studying um, so I completed an internship with Trade, Cre Trade Kings Group Limited in Lusaka, Zambia and that internship focused on the total quality management and aseptic processing for milk and milkshakes. There was a lot going on there guys, a lot. A lot of chemistry and a lot of maintaining like what is it called procedures. Um, it is an incredible opportunity to apply my I wouldn't say academic knowledge but I would say laboratory skills in a real world industrial setting and also to learn about food production on such a huge scale and of course there's this YouTube channel um, where I spend countless hours and days um, reaching out to international students who aspire to study in the United States and 
I'm not sure if you guys know, but I've guided a lot of students. Yes, I've guided a lot of students through Instagram and met some of them on campus. Some of them are, who are like really good friends of mine now. Um, and it's been an amazing way to giving back to the community and I'm really happy with what I'm doing. And I'm, I hope that these videos are really helpful. And yeah, in case you guys did not know about it, just reach out to me on Instagram if you need help with knowing about colleges here in the US, applying for a visa or just like that, just to chat. I'm always open on Instagram guys. As you can see, all of these experiences are from different backgrounds and I think I really enjoyed what I did and I would recommend you guys to just go with any sort of internship or activities that you enjoy doing rather than just focusing on one specific kind of activity. So yeah, just get out there, do whatever you enjoy and I'm sure you're going to do amazing. Well, the application process was really intense because I applied to 45 schools, which is too much. Um, I spent a lot of time writing a lot of essays. Um, and yes, there were times where I was about to give up because I really don't enjoy writing essays. And it took up a lot of my time to actually think of what exactly should I write my essay on. Like, thinking about ideas, brainstorming. I was on the verge of giving up, but then I persisted and I was like, no, Raina, we have to do it. And I'm glad I took that step. It was a good experience applying to so many schools, even though I was rejected from them, but it's fine. And yeah, every bit of effort is worth it because I'm glad where I am today. And now the moment I've been waiting to announce where I'll be heading this fall. I don't know, oh, the camera angle is too, is W and J guys. Okay, so the full form of W and J is Washington and Jefferson College and yay, that is where I'm headed this fall. And yeah, I'm beyond thrilled to share this news with all of you and I hope to make more videos of my experiences here in Pennsylvania and share it with you all. Let me know what were you guys expecting of where I was gonna go from the answer. And also let me know down in the comment section what kind of videos are you expecting um, for me to create. And I'll definitely like look at your comments and give it a thought of creating such videos. Thank you all for tuning in and I hope you have an amazing day or evening or whatever time it is the rest of your day and i'll see you in my next video